Hello runners and triathletes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly Evernoa, fitness and nutrition coaching. I'm a registered dietitian and certified personal trainer. And we're on a journey of training for a half marathon where I'm sharing my journey to give you little tips along the way. And today is what's supposed to be an 11 mile run, but it's Christmas Eve and I wanted to do something a little bit more fun. So my husband and I are out at a hike that we've never done before. Um, and it's a 10 mile hike. So we're going to be doing 10 miles today instead. And one of the things that I like about having so much time until my half marathon, I have until the end of February and I'm already at almost 11 miles, is that it gives me a lot of room for flexibility. So that's kind of the nice part of building in a little extra room to your training plan is that you can have a little wiggle room to do things that are fun. You can go out and do a hike instead of a run. And the benefit of doing a hike is that you can still spend a lot of time in zone two. So we're probably gonna run hike this because we're not quite sure what the terrain's gonna be. But even if you're hiking quickly and uphill, you're still getting your heart rate up, you're still getting your legs moving and getting in the mile. So it's a different way to train your body, but still getting in that mileage and some of that experience for your legs and your heart. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'll show you what I had for breakfast real quick for my energy, and then I'll show you what I brought uh, in my running pack for food and hydration. So for pre-hike run breakfast, I am doing two slices of this gluten-free bread. Um, this settles really well. I'm in the process right now of trying to figure out if I have celiac disease or just a wheat sensitivity, so you don't need to do gluten-free bread, but that's what I'm doing. So that plus macadamia nut butter, pumpkin butter for some extra carbs and sugar. So the bread has 30 carbs for the two slices, and then this will probably just add about another gram or two, and then a cup of lucid coffee. All right, so since we don't know if this is gonna be a two hour run or a four hour hike, I've got a lot of food and water with me, so to make sure I have enough water and carbs, I have a big, this is attached to a big water pack in the back of my backpack that has, I think about 50 ounces of water in it, and then I have this handheld water bottle that has about 30 grams of carbohydrates and water in it so I can get more of my electrolytes and water from this. And then I also have a you can gel. This is really easy on the stomach if you have GI issues when running. And then I also have a kind bar. And then also in the back of my bag where there's more room, I have about maybe two ounces of mixed nuts and some little granola bites some cliff blocks in there as well, so I'm pretty set up for quite a bit amount of carbohydrates and water in case this turns into a little bit more of a hike than a run. in 15, 16 minutes uh, because we have this big river behind us we've been trying to figure out how to cross and it's very deep and very fast so in trying to be safe and trying to figure out where to we to cross where to cross it's taking us forever so this is going to be a very interesting 10 miles today So I think we have some turkey tail mushroom on the trail. This is what you find in coffee. <laughs> in all the coffees that I share, this is the mushroom they use. So one of the benefits of trail running is that it helps a little bit with your agility. It helps with balance, helps with body awareness, and 
you're using different muscles usually than when you're running on the street. So you're probably going to use your glutes a little bit differently. Your ankle and feet muscles are going to have to work a little bit differently. So you're strengthening feet and legs in a different way, getting a little bit more like side to side action, um, different types of movement so that you're still kind of, you're still running or walking, but you're doing it in a little bit different way that's going to help strengthen you and make you a more well-rounded athlete and help with injury prevention. The uneven terrain is why this is so helpful. Okay, I think we're finally almost there. <laughs> we spent a lot of time crossing rivers and, and drying off. And we don't really know how far we've gone because our garments have different uh, distances on them. So we think we might be finally at the stopping point, but no idea how many miles it's been. So this was definitely much more of a hike than a run. Oh well, it was definitely fun. So this is the bridge to nowhere. It's a bridge between two mountains that got flooded out a long time ago. It goes nowhere, but it's a very popular hike and it's actually probably one of the more fun, diverse hikes that I've been on, but really hard to run. There's a lot of rocks, a lot of river cross crossing, so not great for the run. So it looks like this next week is going to be my 11 mile run since today isn't quite counting as 10 mile run. But it was fun and a great way to spend Christmas Eve. So my watch, we're done. My watch says we did about nine miles. My husband said we did about 12 miles. So we actually have no idea how much mileage we did today and we spent most of it walking and crossing rivers. Just a much different day than anticipated. But what, what I will leave you with is that that's okay sometimes training doesn't go as expected and like i said if you can build in a little extra time to your training plan then it gives you some room for changing things up going on a hike doing something different and this was a lot more fun than just doing 10 or 11 monotonous miles on the street so important to keep things fun and interesting our legs are definitely still taxed so we work them out it was a good workout um and we can get back to running on the street next week we'll get those miles in i hope that you get to do something fun for the holidays as well um, although it will be past that by the time you see this so i hope you had a wonderful holidays merry christmas happy new year and i will see you soon in the next video blessings on your health fitness and running journeys